good evening brothers and sisters in dhamma so it gives me a great pleasure today also in order to share dhamma knowledge with you the buddha says dhamma danang sabba danang jinati the dan of the dhamma can defeat all kinds of arms donations generosity in this world because it can enlighten the humans in not to clean their mind so i was always thinking about my life as a monk i got that opportunity in order to give the dhamma dan to different cultures and to different individuals therefore with that senses i would like to introduce the today's topic as visible on the slides on the screen that would be patama sammatta niyama sutta patama sammatta niyama sutta the topic was given to me by brother leslie and asked bante whether you can talk about this also i said yes always if someone gives a topic i accept kindly i don't mind to do that because of that i have a great desire work on this dhamma discussions in reading the discourse patama sammatta niyama sutta the english translation by bikku sujato swart in the right way right way so first that means there can be dutiya sammatta niyama sutta and also tatiya sammatta niyama sutta also talking about the different aspects of the path of righteousness when we discuss certain topics from the discourses so called the basket of the discourses sutta pitaka sutta means the links always it has links with other different discourses before going into the details of the patama sammatta niyama sutta i thought of creating a background in order to understand the mentality of humans that live among us when we practice buddhism there are three kinds of people thayo me bhikkave puggala santo samvichyamana lokasmin khatame tayo avakuchy panyo puggalo uchchanga panyo puggalo putu panyo puggalo three people three individuals three different characters in the same category in anguttara nikaya under the chapter on individuals puggala vagga it discusses about the three people in avakujya panya sutta there are three peoples or three humans or individual characters who come to listen to the dhamma first one is avakujya panya puggala you can see one with upside down wisdom that means there can be a different types of wisdom as well then second levisi uchchanga panyo puggalo 
the one who has wisdom on their lap not this lap your mentality then putopanyo puggalo the one who has the wide wisdom let us say avakujya panyo puggalo according to the buddha there are some people in this world they are called buddhist they are among the listeners or the hearers of the dhamma they come to the temple or preaching home preaching hall and they will sit in front of the preacher speaker wherever it can happen even in lecturing halls also we have observed such kind of students we got they come and sit somewhere wherever they can listen to the speaker or dhamma speaker or person who conduct the speech they look at the pace of the speaker always laugh always shake their heads and listen to the dhamma but they don't know from where the speaker started the talk and also in the middle of the talk they cannot understand they don't focus on what the speaker has delivered at the end of the talk also they don't know anything how the speaker has ended the talk at the beginning in the middle and also at the end of the talk there are three parts the person doesn't know what the speaker said he will not listen to the speaker but whatever he says he would laugh and he will enjoy like that in case of our character also individually we know whether we belongs to whether we belong to this category or what kind of a person we are so the person with upside down wisdom the easily forget everything when it comes to the middle of the talk or speech he doesn't know anything what the speaker has delivered at the beginning at sometimes i also think whether i belong to this category <laughs> in my classroom when i was a student so he is called avakujya panya avakujya panyo puggalo the person who has a knowledge upside down knowledge that means no concentration no focus on the matters and mind is disturbed with the reasons to laugh shout and looking at the beauty of the others and count in the people how many and focusing on the dresses that people have their hair color hair styles whether they speak about a good attire beautiful attire or dress whether he could explain the matter as well in that way whether the speaker include some jokes in that way they'll observe all those things at the end of the talk what happens this person will go away according to the buddha a nice simile is given a basket or whatever water container fort we turn upside 
down and we pour the water then what happen any drop of the water cannot enter into the water container like that whatever the speakers preach as the dhamma speakers they don't absorb they will forget everything they will not focus on the matter instead they will enjoy the surroundings there are such people then the second one uchchanga pangyo puggalo uchchanga pangyo puggalo ఖతమోచ బిక్కవే ఉచ్చంగ పంజో పుగ్గలో ద బుద్ధ సే సయ్యతాపి బిక్కవే పురిసస్స ఉచ్చంగ ఉచ్చంగే నానా ఖజ్జకాదీని ఆకిన్నాని దట్ మీన్స్ దట్ ఈస్ ది సిమిలి యూ సి యు ఆర్ సిటిన్ ఇన్ ద చే సంథింగ్ ఆన్ యువర్ ల్యాప్ once you forget when you get up stand up what happened to the things with you drop and fall down that means you are not aware of the things what you have in the same manner sometimes uh, like that sister has a bag uh, in that there can be something on the lap whatever they do sometimes important materials like electronic devices they can be broken sometimes money or whatever when we stand up from the seat all the things drop to drop on the ground and they leave it they forget the matter or whatever that you have in the same manner some people come to the preaching hall enter the preaching hall and at the beginning they listen to the speaker carefully in the middle also they would listen to the speaker carefully at the end also they would have a good focus but after the talk after the end of the talk what happened when they leave from the door they drop everything there easily forget they cannot remind anything different types of mental conditions may be anger craving delusion jealousy or whatever reasons with regard to you have one private business problems with the children wife husband parents different types of problems come to your mind and they disturb you so you don't understand easily forget at the end of the talk and when you leave the lecture in hall or preaching hall after that you cannot remind anything there can be such kind of people that people are called uchchanga panyo puggalo uchchanga panyo puggalo when i refer to the commentary on this discourse in order to find out some more details the commentary says the dis description given to this in the discourse original discourse it would be enough to understand then thirdly the person one who has wise wide wisdom katamocha bikkave putupanyo putgalo the person is called putupanya puggala just like the characteristics unlike the others సయ్యతాపి భిక్కవే కుంభో ఉక్కుజ్జో తత్ర ఉదకం ఆసిత్తం సంటితాతినో వివట్టతాతి సయ్యతాపి మీన్స్ ఇన్ ఇంగ్లీష్ వీ సే లైక్ దట్ జస్ట్ లైక్ 
Similarly, the Buddha says, Dear monks or venerables, the characteristics of the Futupanya person, this individual, can be appreciated because he comes to the preaching hall peacefully and happily, sit down wherever he can carefully and clearly listen to the speak and listen to the speech or Dhamma talk. After that, he would concentrate on the first part of the speech, middle part of the speech and also the ending part or the last part of the speech. He would have a link what the speaker delivered first, what he was delivering in the middle and also how he has concluded the talk at the end. He knows the links, matters, similes and also theoretical knowledge and practical knowledge he receives, he listens to the Dhamma talk carefully. He doesn't care the dress code of the speaker, the way he speaks and also different types of uh, surrounding materials. Just focus on the content of the speech and he will leave the hall after the talk throughout entire lifetime he would practice whatever he has received as theory from the Dhamma talk and he would be practical in the life also. Among these three kinds of individuals of the listeners, the Buddha appreciated the third one, Putupanyo Puggalo, because listeners can have the benefits when they have the characteristics of Putupanya according to the Buddha. These three people have been explained in Avakujya Panya discourse in Anguttara Nikaya Tika Nipata under Puggala chapter. Puggala means individuals. Brother Billy knows that. Those terms. Next, I'll come to the discourse that we are going to discuss today. Patama Sammatta Niyama Sutta. I gave that introduction earlier because when we discuss certain matters according to this discourse, they would be very beneficial. There is a link. Patama Sammatta Niyama Sutta. What do you understand when we hear the term Patama Sammatta Niyama Sutta? You feel very long, Fali term. Terminology. Terminologies are like that in Pali. Sometimes the commentaries we cannot translate into English. The whole big sentence we have to divide the sentence, one sentence into different sentences. Patama means first, foremost or former. First, number one. I am the first. I am Patamo. When we offer the dana to Mahasanga, we say, when the higher reverence are there, I am Patama Bhago Mahaterasa Papunadi. That means the first portion of the dana we will offer to the elders monk. Patama Bhaga means the first portion. Patama Puggala means first person. Who is the Patama Puggala in Malaysia? The king. So, in that way, the term Patama means the first, foremost, eldest, sometimes greatest. Sammat, Sammat, Sammati means coming to a conclusion, decision. Sammat means decided. So, we decide what is correct or not. According to the discourse, Sammatta means the correctness 
or the righteousness. Righteousness means always the doctrine of the Buddha. Whatever he has told, they are correct. Because of that, we say correctness, correctness of Buddhism or the, his teachings, Buddha's teachings. Sammata means the accepted. Accepted. Possible. Possible or accepted righteousness. Niyama means fixed rule. A particular or specified way or manner. An invariable practice. It doesn't differentiate anyone, anything. It doesn't become different from individual, individual to individual. And also, maybe the way to the end, according to the Buddhism, the righteousness, the way of righteousness means the way to the end of samsaric circle, the existence. That's how the term Patama Sammatta Niyama Sutta has been created or combined with different words saying that the first or the foremost or the right way of ending the circle of existence. This has been mentioned in Anguttara Nikaya Panchaka Nipata as a discourse which talks about five matters. What do we find in Patama Sammatta Niyama Sutta? Panchahi Bhikkave Dhammehi Samannagata Samannagato Sunantopi Saddhammang Ababbu Niyamam Okkamitum Kusalesu Dhammesu Samattam Venerables, there are five factors with qualities that enable the listeners of the Dhamma even though they are listening to a true teachings of the Buddha to attain the or to enter the path of attainment of Nibbana. Okkamitum means to enter. Kusale Sudamme Susamatta means the way of, the skillful way of righteousness. The characteristics of the listeners according to Patama Sammatta Niyama Sutta. The Buddha says, what are those five qualities or the characteristics? Khatam paribhoti, khatikam paribhoti, attanam paribhoti, vikkitta chitto dhamman sunati, anekagga chitto Ayoni socha manasi karoti. They disparage the talk, they disparage the speaker, they disparage themselves. They will listen to the talk with scattered and impure mind, and also they will apply the mind irrationally. Irrationally. These are the five characters. We'll talk about that. There are other factors also. Some other factors also that uh, enable the listeners to enter the correct path of attainment of Nibbana. Na khatikam paribhoti. They don't disparage the talk. Na Na khatam pariboti, na khatikam pariboti. They don't disparage the speaker. Na attanam pariboti. They don't disparage the 
themselves avikitta chitto dhamman sunati they will listen to the talk with pure and united mind unified mind and also at the end ekagga chitto yoni socha manasi karoti they will apply it whatever the speaker said to the mind rationally with the reason these are the five characteristics of the good listener and also these are the five characteristics of the bad listener when we come to this the content what we have told as the good characteristics and bad characteristics according to this discourse we find two terms abhabbo and babbo abhabbo and babbo even in sri lanka when someone is ignorant in understanding something when someone is not ready to accept what others say rationally if they are going to say something and if they want others to accept his or her view without understanding the term ababbo we say what is this ababbya abab means ignorant man polish man a bad man oh who is this ababbya then that means we criticize or we explain that person is ignorant man ababbo niyaman means the five qualities of incapacity there is no capacity to understand so impossibility always comes first for example khatam paribhoti when someone has a way of criticizing the speaker criticizing the speaker after looking at the physical appearance of the speaker some people criticize and also when they have a way of speaking if the person cannot concentrate on that matter also sometimes people criticize the speaker in different senses disparage the talk not the speaker first come the talk what did he say i couldn't understand do you understand sister or brother in that way they will uh, talk about the story or the content content is not suitable for us because we are adults we are youngers we are children so we are not well educated we are educated thinking their own position sometimes they will not appreciate the talk or the content remember with reference to the different discourses of the buddha in tripitaka every discourse has been introduced by the buddha with the reason when the reason arises he talk because of the reason because of the reason many examples can be found when someone has wrong practices because of that reason he preach the something the doctrine when someone has good practices he had a reason to appreciate all those things or deliver dhamma talk different types of reasons when they arise the buddha could 
comment on that having revealed the reality in this world. That's what he did. Without a reason, he never discussed or he never preached. When the incidents of the Kali Yakini came into the appearance or visible because of the cultivating anger mentally, he said that would be negative and that would affect your next life, saying that nahi vere na verani sammanti dukudachana. If, if the anger arises, the anger can be defeated by cultivating loving kindness, not by the anger. When you are getting anger, if someone tells brother or sister, don't get angry, that's not good for you, what happened to you? In that situation, if a monk or someone preaches a story or tells a story from the Dhamma and tells something about the good things and bad things, of cultivating loving kindness and arising anger, what happened? Very angrily, you will fire the problem again and again, saying that those are not the stories that you should tell, something like that. You would not agree with the talk at all the time. We cannot explain sometimes. When the speaker says, Something with regard to your life habits, practices, when you compare all those things, you don't agree, you will feel this was told to me and without a reason you may disagree with the talk or the content of the talk. That's what happened in the world. Not only that, you may disparage the speaker. A speaker would be criticized, sometimes condemned, saying that he doesn't know how to preach, he has no knowledge. We expected this, but he showed or preached another thing. And this is not the suitable time to tell that story. In that way, you would criticize the speaker as well. That is the second one. When we have such a practice, automatically, naturally, the person would not remind the content of the talk or try to depend on the person's personality and you will disturb your own mind in understanding the Dhamma. That's a bad habit, that's a wrong practice. In accordance with the Buddha's teachings, and also sometimes you will disparage, you will condemn yourself also. Maybe different types of uh, Buddhist come to the temple, Buddhist Mahavihara for example, they would enjoy Dhamma talks, they would enjoy prayers and different types of Buddhist activities. Those who enjoy the Dhamma talks, sometimes they don't want to enjoy the cultural Buddhist activities like prayers. Some people will enjoy all the activities. Actually, I have the personal experiences. I have questioned some devotees, why don't you attend the Dhamma class or Dhamma talks? They trust only the prayers, saying that we need the blessing, not listen to the Dhamma, we don't need to study the Dhamma, we have no time, we need the more blessing and money, prosperity, success. Say different things. The only way they know is pray. 
praying and they don't want to learn Buddhism whether the prayers are very beneficial or not at least some people uh, I have been told Bhante we don't want to attend the prayers if we write, uh, practice right Buddhism teachings of the Buddha so Dhamma talks we attend because we can learn the Buddhism and practice then we can understand where you are you condemn your capacity you don't appreciate your capacity instead you try to direct yourself into a different directions rejecting these talks in Dhamma to such kind of people there is no any capacity enable them to understand the Dhamma so whatever they practice that would be a skill quality that prevent the way of attainment of Nibbana when we come to the fourth one listen to the Dhamma scattered mind when we think of this can you imagine the person that I told earlier according to the first description second one the person who is sitting there carefully listen but when he leaves the preaching hall forget easily everything the second one drop everything on the ground even though the person could listen everything carefully but cannot concentrate after the talk when your mind is disturbed with different types of reasons for example thinking about the life future income and also children's family matters or whatever sometimes after the talk those are not the big issues you may think now there can be the traffic on the way so how I can go sometimes I can be late in that way you can think no reasons vikkitta chitto dhamman sunati while you are listening to the Dhamma also those reasons can arise sometimes when we interview the people why uh, they cannot attend the Dhamma class or Dhamma talks this is too late we cannot go to the bed sometimes too traffic different reasons before entering listening to the talk also they will have different reasons to stop the practice of listening then how they can listen to the Dhamma they cannot because the mind is uh, not clean it has been fulfilled with defilements then apply the mind irrationally anekagga chitto ayoni socha manasi karoti even though some people attend to the dhamma classes as i said they will sit down somewhere and think of the different types of reasons surroundings when they look at the windows that window is broken hmm? when they look at the other individuals he is tall he is fat that person is beautiful that woman that man is handsome while looking at different different directions when they listen to the Dhamma talk they think 
about different things. Anekagga chitto. Chitto means your thoughts, attitudes that arise in your mind. Aneka means different. You may think of the different things, but you don't focus on what happened in front of you. That is just similar to the characteristics of the first person, Avakujya Panya. Avakujya Panya. In this way, they think everything, they practice the Dhamma irrationally, they don't think, they are listening to the Dhamma talk, they have to practice these things in order to end up the samsaric uh, journey. But however, they will enjoy different things, different thoughts. Even now in Sri Lanka as well, I am not criticizing but uh, telling the truth, there is a tradition. Some monks as well, uh, they don't think of the righteous Dhamma. <laughs> they will sing songs, they will highlight the part of the song saying that they will use the way of Dhamma talking to criticize the cultural practice. Not to reveal the message of the Buddha correctly. So people love that more than the real Dhamma speaker. People love that more than the real Dhamma speaker. For example, uh, when we think of uh, famous Dhamma speaker, people will attend the Dhamma talk because of the, uh, his popularity, in order to see the person physically. There are some people who attend the Dhamma classes or talks without a rational, rationally, a reason. They have irrational purf purposes. Purpose is different. When these qualities, when we have as an individual, maybe we call as a Buddhist who wants to say goodbye to the suffering in the sansari journey. Sometimes with these qualities we cannot practice Buddhism. Practice Buddhism means always the practice, practice the teachings of the Buddha. The Buddha says in Dhammapada, Appam piche sahitam basamanu, once also I repeated here. Some people can learn these teachings, totally all the discourses of the Buddha, but never practice. They are just like the Gopalaka, that means the cow herds who looks after the other's cows. They pass this to another generation, but no practice. But Appam Piche Sahitam Basamano, whatever you learn, no need to know the entire doctrine, all the matters said by the Buddha. But if you know one, two or three, at least if you can practice that, you would earn the benefits. You would earn the benefits. You know, when we have the hunger, when we are hungry, what happened? We are thinking of our positions, status, and we try to maintain all those things. A famous story uh, said by a famous Dhammi speaker in Sri Lanka, he says, the wise person, when they are hungry, go and cook something, they don't think whatever they have, they don't think whether they have oil, rice or anything, but whatever they have, they cook and eat and uh, they can be free from the hunger. So, no appetite. In that way, the wise person will practice, but 
the foolish man would think ayo i don't have oil i don't have anything think of all the ingredients until someone buys for him or until he can buy all those things he will wait he will wait without cooking without finding an immediate solutions the person will wait that's why until we learn all the doctrines of the buddhism or the buddha entirely until we finish or complete reading of tripitaka if we wait to practice that what happen to us we will pass our time and we will die but whatever you practice learn gradually if you apply in your life in cleaning the mind and practice the teachings of the buddha whatever you know that would be enough to solve the problem and survive the life according to the dhamma therefore when some people disagree with the talk when some people disagree with the speaker until they disagree with the with themselves and also until they listen to the talks or until they study with scattered mind and if they don't apply correctly those things what happen these five qualities do not help us to increase our ability to practice buddhism they will prevent the entrance of the right way of attainment of nibbana that's what it happens everywhere such kind of qualities are called abhab niyam abhab niyam if someone has like that actually in our uh, culture in sri lanka we say ababya <laughs> ababya that means ignorant man or woman very foolish cannot make such people understood so these are the things different types of you go through the facebook or whatever social media how they criticize the dhamma speakers saying that recently i saw a story on facebook someone is insulted the buddha saying that suddodana ge piya suddodana ge puta that means the suddodana son who is suddodana we cannot say like that suddodana means one of the individual a great human who was born to this world with much meritorious power he was a king on the other hand he was the father of the buddha later he became an arahant how we can address him called suddodana suddodana san we cannot say like that because he is an arahant on the other hand the father of the buddha he is a perfected one to a perfected one how we can address by his name if you go to the king if you address the king by his name what happened maybe you can imagine i don't want to tell in that way some people say different things because of that matter some people and venerables have criticized that and told the person not to tell like that but the persons group also continue to reply to uh, venerable sen and the others those who show its fault
saying different things. They try to disparage the talk and try to convert into a good talk, bad talk into good talk. Good talk into bad. When we uh, do the changes or when we convert the talks, Dhamma talks into their own directions for their own benefits, what happens? They don't practice or they don't have any ability to understand the doctrine of the Buddha. When they criticize Buddha's path, just imagine how they develop their anger towards the Buddha. They think all his doctrine is a barrier for them. When they criticize the talk, the content, on the other hand, they disparage the speak as well. Not only that, indirectly they say they disparage themselves because they earn bad uh, sound, something bad reputations, or they get blamed. They are scolded. So people said to that, when the court has punished her, when she comes out from the jail to cultivate loving kindness towards her and don't repeat what she has done, and now she is innocent, saying that because already the law of the country has given the punishment. That is the conclusion. But they'll never understand the doctrine, they will shut up their mouth, they will stop talking because of the law, not because of the bad aftermaths, bad results, negative energies that they earn from insulting. But they should learn something good if they criticize the religious text or teachings or any other sacred person the results will follow them. Results will follow them. She was in the jail, that is the punishment, that is the results. What is the cause? Insulting the religious leaders. So, insulting not only religious leaders, at least for ordinary people, that would be bad. If they learn there is a, a negative side that can cause their entire life, at least Buddha also said like this, if they think, they will understand. If they don't think, if they cultivate their anger, if they raise their voices against the teachings, what happened? They will be in trouble never understand the dumb man, never earn any ability to understand the dumb man. They will suffer a lot. In case of other qualities, the good qualities that enable you to understand the doctrine of the Buddha, we call bhabbo nyama, five qualities of enablement. They will enable you to understand the doctrine if you don't uh, disparage the talk, you don't reject the talk. Instead, you will think. Sometimes, if you cannot understand the talk, such problems can arise. Then what happens? Sometimes you will question the speaker. If not, you may go to home and Later on, you will refer to the real story and try to understand after reading. After reading. You try to understand the story, the talk, the content, without criticizing that. Yes, 
we have such occasions for example in case of myself i had lots of such incidents even though i attend to some classes i cannot understand what the lecturer said what the elder monk said but i never went against raised my voice on the occasions against them later i'll approach them and i ask what happened to my uh, understanding i think and i ask i couldn't understand please uh, explain something like that even after the talk or whatever i just refer to different uh, people sometimes i don't think whether they are lay people also those people uh, can have such experiences i'll approach to the speaker i'll ask what is the content real meaning explain i couldn't understand please uh, enlighten me on such occasions speakers are good actually one time i was brought to philippine by brother billy for series of dhamma talk there actually i was afraid of conducting the talk because uh, professor indasar was there who was my vice chancellor during my university life then after the talk he also attended my talk after the talk i questioned him uh, whether my talk is correct if i have told something wrong he happily said no and he appreciated he knows uh, i appreciate you you were humble to ask at least from me uh, to adjust your life that's why even today he loves me and tells anything if i need in that way we have to uh, adjust our skills we have to prepare ourselves in order to develop our capacity so we don't disparage the talk we don't uh, condemn the content or the story saying that this is not suitable this is not good this is not the proper time then we don't disparage the speak even the speak also not to good criticize there can be a reason to tell in that way we can approach and ask the reason and we can personally discuss in order to develop our skills we should have a respect for our speakers that's why when i have the time even though many dhamma speakers talk the dhamma uh discussions and conduct different things i attend all those things when bante punne ji was here i attended many of his talks because i want to learn one incident he says the insecurity of the life is the suitable word for suffering in his book books insecurity of the life because when we suffer a lot both physically and mentally his question is there is no security for the life insecurity i question him why do you use the word insecurity in his talk later on he explain this is the reason i didn't tell him i am not i don't agree with this word something like that because there is a reason because i know many of the bante punnaji's disciples and also he was very familiar to us in case of english dhamma discussions dhamma talks so we had a friendly discuss we we had a friendly discussions many friendly way of exchanging dhamma knowledge and we could develop our own skills because we never condemn the speaker we never condemn the speaker we don't disparage and also we don't disparage ourselves in case of me myself 
I don't disparage myself. I don't think I cannot understand who I am to understand this. I am unable to understand this. I don't think of negative energies that I have, but instead I try to learn something. Yes, I can understand this and how I can practice this in my life. So there is a demand for everyone in case of understanding the Dhamma, in case of improving your skills to understand the Dhamma. Then we will listen to the Dhamma talk with unified and pure mind. The mind should be clean. Avikitta chitto dhamman sunati. Very clearly we have to listen to the Dhamma with a clear mind without thinking anything. Just like the person putu panya. Not only that, after the discussion, after the Dhamma talk, we learn something very important. Then soon after that, what we have to do? We have to apply them. Just imagine you are a patient at the hospital. Patient at the hospital, you are admitted to the hospital, doctors will check you and they will consult you how to behave in order to recover from your sickness and the nurses and attendants will attend you to uh, look after you and treat you. What the doctor has told the nurses will listen to them carefully, you also will listen to him carefully, then you will practice, apply what the doctors have said. Nurses will practice because for every treatment there is a reason. There is a reason in order to recover from the sickness. In the same manner when we practice whatever good things, whenever practice what the Dhamma speaker says, then it can be a reason to clean the mind. Ekagga chitta yoni socha manasi karoti with a good mind, with a consciousness, you will understand, you will concentrate on the matter how to practice. If we think of our human habits, getting anger, getting jealousy, thinking of others' property, uh, trying to be equal to others or so trying to be higher than others. These mental barriers always disturb our happiness. You will never have a freedom. For example, if the Buddha says, be happy whatever, with whatever you have, be happy without cultivating anger. Instead, we don't apply those things. Again and again, we let our mind to raise our anger or jealousy or whatever negative emotions. We don't focus on the matter. We don't focus on the benefits of the matter or practice. If we practice always thinking getting anger is not good for us and try to understand when angry emotions arise in the mind, if you try to stop and control that mentally, that means you practice. Apply the mind rationally with the Dhamma. You try to behave according to the Dhamma. If you practice all those things, these five qualities, those qualities are called Babba. Babba. Babba means Babba Niyaman. Babbo Niyaman, five qualities that enable you to 
enter the path of attainment of nibbana this is of course not attaining the nibbana but come to the path of attainment of nibbana then you have to go on that track this is how we have uh, explained and we have to discuss what the buddha has said in accordance with patama uh, sammatta niyama sutta uh, these are the explanations what i said according to the uh, commentaries for the discourse but i didn't go to the slides because all the things uh, were stored in my mind <laughs> because for all the day i read the commentary and discourse in comparing with other discourses how i convey this dhamma message to you it should be correct and also it should be right and also it should be understandable to everyone you see disparage the talk khatam paribhoti kim katha naam e saati what is this story that's not good something like that if the story is criticized badly that will negatively affect you to understand the doctrine khatam paribhoti iti naam what is this story then kim naam e sa kateti who is that speaker i don't know you are going for famous speakers but don't think what the speaker says kim mayam janati iti do i know that speaker if you don't know you don't attend commentary explanations and also mayam kim janam what do we know what do i know how do it force us to live how it can affect us to live does it provide the money and other materials if i go to listen to the dhamma talk something like that uh, whatever you expect compare in we all those things with all those things you can condemn yourself the value of your understanding then listen to the uh, dhamma with scattered mind viparyayena sukata pakko veditabbo viparyayena you becomes impure attitudes disturb you sukata pakka means whether it is good or not you judge in case of the true dhamma teaching not the bad not the uh, talks in the form of the dhamma talks but the true dhamma teaching you just raise different types of reasons you circle your mind around different reasons that means that your mentality disturbs you anekagga chitto yoni socha manasi karoti these are the commentary explanations so in that pay brothers and sisters in dhamma in patama saddhamma niyama sutta we can see uh, two types of people abhabba and babba so abhabba person has five qualities that disturb or that unable the person to enter the path of practice of dhamma so babba person got five qualities these five qualities will enable him or her to enter the path of practice of dhamma the righteousness in that way when we think of the three people that i said earlier avakujjapanya uh, 
Uchanga Panya and Putu Panya. So we need to think of the characteristics we, uh, of these three people in comparison to these two or five characteristics, good qualities and bad qualities. Having thought of that, we need to cultivate our skills, we need to establish our character as a Putupanya person who has a good concentration on the matters that we are going to listen to from the Dhamma talk and practice. Then you will develop your uh, five qualities called appreciate the talk, appreciate the speaker, appreciate your skills and also you will not listen to the Dhamma talk with impure mind, you will listen to the Dhamma talk with unified, united, good mind and also in the life you will apply all those Dhamma matters in order to adjust your life and eradicate all kinds of defilements. That's all. So if you have questions, we'll discuss. Uh, first of all, Bhante, thank you very much for the good Dharma talk. Okay, I'd just like to ask, uh, in the internet nowadays, uh, it's so easy for us to listen to Dharma talk and watch Dharma talk. And uh, sometimes, you know, uh, there are certain speakers or topic that interest us, uh, that makes us wanted to watch on YouTube, for example. So suddenly, when we watch in the middle, <laughs> we find that uh, certain speakers may have uh, contradictory uh, teachings compared to others, other speakers, you see. Mm -hmm. So how do we, you know, rationalize it <laughs> in a way? That means yeah. your concern is different speakers can have uh, different talks on the same yes. topic. Yes, example. So yeah. when you are listening to those, you may go different explanations. Yes. The better thing is you refer to the original text of the Tripitaka mm -hmm. and understand who speaks the right Dhamma. Is it? So, uh, on the other hand, when we practice the Dhamma, the most important thing is reading and understanding. Even though we listen to the Dhamma, after listening to the Dhamma, when you apply that, you don't think what is the original text, <laughs> what it says. Hmm? You try to depend on the speak only. Yes. The speak is just a guide for you. Mm -hmm. Understand? Okay. So reading the Dhamma, understanding the Dhamma, then with the reading, if you compare the explanation, sometimes even though they give the different examples, mm. those can be right, mm. those can be wrong. So you can understand the wrong one and right one. Okay. Therefore, my advice for you not to depend on the speaker. Mm -hmm. When you try to depend on the speaker, it happens to you. Yeah, because sometimes when I <laughs> when I listen or watch certain speakers, eh, how mm. come it's different from the other speakers? In for certain certain yeah. explanations. For example, when I read yeah. English translations, yeah. I refer to Pari Text Society mm. uh, English translations. Then Sutta Central, Bikku uh, Sujato, Bikku Brahmavanso, and Bikku Bodhi. Okay. All these. I just read and understand whether they have said the same matter. Sometimes because we use the language, different wordings can be found, similar, similar wording, synonyms. Mm -hmm. But in a language, a different I, a idea, an idea can be said in different ways. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just try to uh, understand the language as well. Mm -hmm. That's why these wordings from actually the text uh, translations by Bhikkhu Sujatu. Mm. I felt that would be easier for you to understand in comparison to other translations. Mm -hmm. Rather than using big words, 
complex words mm -hmm. complicated words in a language in dhamma talking a better to use some easy words but meaningful words that enable people to understand mm -hmm. those yeah. are called the presentation skills yeah the layman's words yeah yeah that's why you may not depend on the speakers but go and read this uh, <laughs> stories and the text as well yeah yeah that's why we say we provide the references at the end of the dhamma talk you can go and refer to the reference mm -hmm. and you can judge whether we have said correct righteous uh, pure dhamma mm -hmm. understand yeah good yeah then when you apply you will understand the examples whether they are correct or wrong mm -hmm. different speakers can have different uh, examples yes it is exactly mm. okay thank you bante yeah. Bante, my question is, how can we encourage Avakuja Panyo Puggalo and Uchanga Panyo Puggalo to be Pudu Panyo Puggalo? How we can encourage those people to be Pudu Panyo? Yeah. Good questions. Thank you. That is what we <laughs> talk through entire Dhamma talk. Uh, first, when we explain the characteristics of these three individuals, they should have a focus to understand themselves. We cannot say, you are Putupanya, you are Avakucha Panya, you are Uchanga Panya. When we explain, you have to mentally think of your character and adjust your character. In that case, motivating means we can encourage anyone by explaining the characteristics of these three people like this and if they want to see the references, they, we can give the references, the discourse. And they can learn more and more and they have to apply uh, their character whether uh, I am in that category or wherever. So, once they understand their character, they will try to be a Putupanya person. So, for us, rather than explaining, there is nothing to do in that case. Yeah. Any other questions? Okay. Even in case of teachers, as you are a teacher, you can understand the mentality of the students. Hmm? Then sometimes we can practice some methodologies uh, by applying them in order to make them understood. Maybe uh, sometimes we have to be modern. We have to be modernized. Uh, we have to choose modern way of conveying the message to make them understand. Because we need to give the input, then we will receive better output. So the way you try to convey the message, the characteristics of Avakujya uh, Panya, Uchanga Panya, to create a person of Putu Panya, that would depend on the way that you explain them uh, to the person. Yoniso Manasikara simply, uh, when we say, you know the term Vinyana. Eh? So, the simple word concentration, focus on the matter. You have to circle your mind around the matter, not focusing of other things. Yoniso Manasikara means well established mind. Hmm? What you don't have, what I don't have, <laughs> what other people don't have. That's why we are in the samsaric life, still. Uh, well-establishment uh, of the mind, the states of the well-establishment of the mind is called 
Yomiso Manasikara, some say concentrated mind and some say uh, attentive nature of the mind, your attention in that way. You should have ability to focus on the matter that we are going to study or think. Thinking about the same matter, uh, one matter without thinking other matters. Different speakers can have different types of uh, wording to introduce this concept. Ekagga chitta. Ekagga chitta means uh, in the mind there is no any other matters to be thought. You think of this one matter and you establish your mind to think about the matter. Establishment of the mind to think on the matter that is called Yoniso Manasikara. Actually, that is a pure condition of the mind. There are different definitions. Now, they do not come to my mind from Pali. <laughs> Of course, thinking of on one matter, not to think of the others, many more, but think of one matter. Once you think one matter, then your mind is working on one matter. For example, when you drive, if you think of singing song, if you are going to sing songs, if you are going to dance, if you are going to eat what happened to your driving. You meet, you meet accidents. So you have to concentrate on your mind, your mind on driving. If you want to go to the correct destination. Something like that. Don't keep your attention away from whatever you do. That is called Ekagvichitta. And the Yoniso Manasikara means remain in the same uh, quality for a long time. You may not uh, have the attention, that is the big problem. Attention, try to hold on the attention. Any other questions? Pranthi, just following up what you said about driving. Uh. Uh, you say Yoni so you, you think you're driving, you're concentrating, but after a while it becomes habit. You know, if you're a driver, experienced driver, uh. initially you're paying attention to the road. Eventually, after some time, driving becomes a habit. It's automatic. You're not thinking about driving. You know, it you has know, become a habit later. Yeah, while you're driving, let's say you're tra traveling 100, kilo, 100 miles. Mm. The, Why first are ten, the first 10 kilometers, you're on the road concentrating on traffic left, right. Mm. After the 20th kilometer onwards, it's like automatic. You're just driving, the car is going, you know, it's... It's going to be a habit. Like, yeah, it becomes habit. If you're a good driver, if you've been so a driver... So why are you... Tra why we are training people yeah. to continue something for a long time? In case of that, it has become a habit with an attention, that's good. So, practice of the Dhamma also, Yoniso Manasikara, we need to be, uh, we need to earn the habit. So, qualities means here that we discussed, they are of course our habits. If we practice good habits, if we can uh, continue our habits, good habits for a long time, that's the way. That's the tough part, sustaining a good habit. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you can continue driving for two to three hours for many kilometers after many years, that means you are a good driver. Practice of the Dhamma also the same. These five qualities means uh, good habits that we have to practice. 
so if we can practice all those things if they become habits of the life that would be fine that's why when we practice observe precepts also and we are instructed to practice them as habits hmm? if you sing a song in the washroom sorry to use the word it has become a habit for you everyone knows you are in the washroom <laughs> because <laughs> they know that habit of you eh? <laughs> uh, they can see because when you are in the washroom there is a message behind that then if you are meditating if you are practicing seela if you are practicing other dhamma matters people will understand your character your habits this person is like that no need to understand actually uh, by the people people don't want to understand us but if you understand yourself your good habit if you continue your good habit that would be fine for you uh, always i repeat everywhere even though i preach the dhamma in singhala if you are the person you have to follow the habit of taking medication if you reject what happen buddha's uh, doctor's habit is check you and consult you and recommend the medication your habit should be uh, to take the medication according to the instructions by the doctor if you don't take you will die buddha has preached we have freedom in order to uh, read listen to the dhamma and practice that if we don't practice as a habit as ethical conduct what will happen to us we'll suffer uh, how to say we'll enjoy the suffering <laughs> for the sansaric life so it, it becomes a habit that you can continue for a long time that would be fine you see i have heard a story from ajan brahmavan so once when he was traveling his flight was delayed for 8 hours what did he do he sat down in a corner in the airport for 8 hours he could uh, read the four books he finished the reading of four books later on if the flight is delayed what happened to us we get anger we uh, our mentality becomes so upset but he said that is the good time that he had for uh, after a long time after a long time he could have he, uh, have a good time because he could finish the reading of four books why so fast if we think how we can read four books in 8 hours because the habit of the reading we don't have the people who have the habit of reading that's easy very easy they can uh, train they have trained their mind to read in that way we have to practice the good habits habit is a term a synonym for the practices that's why <laughs> drivers can uh, drive uh, for many kilometers continually after 20 years of having driving license hmm? but don't go to drive so far when you grow old <laughs> when you become physically weak any questions If the questions are not, no questions. shall we wind yeah. up? Yeah, maybe you have done more than a month.
okay. Uh, by the power of listening to the Dhamma and by cultivating the righteous thoughts, may you be well and fine, may you be free from suffering, may you be well protected by the Dhamma, may you are practices of the Dhamma, may you are habits of the Dhamma, may your ethical conducts support you to end up this sansaric life and attain supreme bliss of Nibbana. And also, may all the merits go to the late chief K. Sri Dhammananda and also we learned the Dhamma from Bhante Punnaji as well. Uh, may these merits go to him also and other Dhamma speakers who motivated us. May they be able to attain supreme bliss of Nibbana. All the departed ones in your family by your name uh, receive these merits. All the deities receive these merits. Uh, everyone uh, be able to attain the supreme bliss of Nibbhāna se sādhu sādhu Ākāsattā ca bhummattā devā nāga mahindika puññantaṁ anumodhitvā chiraṁ rakkantu sāsanaṁ Ākāsattā ca bhummattā devā nāga mahindika Punyantang anumuditva chirandrak kantu desanang Akasatta chabumanta devanaga mahindika Punyantang anumuditva chirandrak kantu mangparanti Blessing for you, wishing the best health, success and happiness and at the end of this uh, sansaric life, the Nibbana. Ayura rogya sampatti sagya sampatti me vacha ato nibbana sampatti minate saminjatu.